Tesla does not get enough credit for how quickly they are developing their cars in real time. Not only upscaling the vehicle's range by over 30% in less than three years, but also how damn cost effective they are. For example, Tesla has increased the maximum range of the brand new Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive by around 31% from three years ago. And how did you do that? Yet it's cheaper by around 500 pounds and that works out to be $607 just here in the UK. However, taking into account inflation from three years ago, it's actually 8,000 315 pounds cheaper, and that works out to around $10,130. So over 30% more vehicle range, and the newly refreshed Tesla Model 3 has been upgraded on a premium up basis. Therefore, Tesla has scaled up interior quality from sound isolation improvements to improved ride quality, as it aims to be more premium than ever before. Tesla has claimed to have changed around 50% of the parts from the legacy Model 3 for this new Tesla Model 3. Now I currently own a Tesla Model 3 refresh back from 2020 Q4. This original refresh received a hell of a lot of upgrades from deleted chrome trims to the introduction of Tesla's unique heat pump system. The importance of today's video is going to highlight the hyperactive evolution of the Tesla Model 3 and how the 2024 Tesla Model 3 stacks up against the refreshed 2021 Tesla Model 3 that was released in Q4 of 2020. And I want to truly visualize just how quickly Tesla is evolving the cars, the sheer scale of evolution. So before I kick start the video, I'd appreciate if you could just drop the video a cheeky like, subscribe and hit the notification bell as it really just helps me out. Right, time to discuss change on Tesla's scale. Kickstarting the video, every Tesla customer has an obsession with EV range. It's an essential metric to evaluate an electric car's worthiness from practicality and generally the greater the range, the more expensive the vehicle is, right? Well, my base Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive received a near 10 mile upgrade from 253 miles to 263 miles range as part of the refresh back in 2020. Today, the rear wheel drive Tesla Model 3 will now get you an estimated 344 miles with the 18 inch photon wheel covers. 263 miles to 344 miles works out to be around a 31% jump in the max range. That occurred in just shy of a three year window. Oh wow, that's big, that's, yeah. that is big. Who else is achieving similar jumps in their EV range on this scale in such a small window? Plus, the battery packs used today have an LFP chemistry in comparison to my NCA chemistry. And in everyday driver terms, this means you can charge your car battery to 100% with little impact to long-term degradation of the battery. Whereas currently the battery pack my car currently has includes guidance to charge to around 80-80% levels for day-to-day -day driving and only 100% if I require the full range of the vehicle for a road trip. Therefore, 31% more range, way more user-friendly, and technically you have more practical range at your disposal. But does that come at a cost? Because remember, generally, the bigger the range, the more expensive the vehicle is expected to be. I said that, didn't I? Well, that consensus exists because we expect more range to come from a bigger battery pack. And in this particular comparison between the new and near three-year-old Tesla, this range increase has come from both a slightly bigger battery pack and other efficiencies like the drag coefficient of the vehicle. But as I mentioned in the intro, it's actually 500 pounds cheaper or 8,315 pounds cheaper when incorporating inflation. In more apple to apple comparable terms, for every mile of range this new 2024 Tesla Model 3 can do, it's worth 116 pounds per mile in comparison to the purchase price. For every mile my Tesla Model 3 completes in comparison to its purchase price is around 153 pounds per mile. And this just illustrates that Tesla is getting more range at a dramatically lower cost. Moving on to some of the sensory customer experience. No one likes excessive road and wind noise. Pre-2021, there was a reoccurring feedback on improving the soundproofing from the road and wind noise. Now, my 2021 refresh Model 3 took its first steps in attempting to reduce external noise to the driver and its occupants by including double pane glass in the front windows for the very first time. The rears were left with original single pane glass for some reason. In all honesty, whilst it probably had a positive impact on isolating external raid noise, it wasn't truly groundbreaking in addressing the feedback. As part of the 2024 refreshed Tesla Model 3, Tesla has decided to take more significant action by taking more inclusive action all over the car. 
from introducing double pane glass in the rear passenger windows to totally revising materials on the inside of the boot lid and door trims to just having a greater seal experience on the doors of the vehicle. All of these revisions are either absorbing the interference better or just preventing the noise from entering the cockpit in the first place. So I am expecting a much quieter experience when driving down the motorway, even the revised suspension has contributed to improving the road noise. But sticking with the suspension and the sensory experience of driving, let's talk about driving experience and performance. The revised suspension setup directly contributes to enhancing the ride quality, yet preserving today's existing dynamic handling. So how are they doing that compared to my Model 3? Well, they're utilizing frequency selective damping technology, and it operates by adjusting dampening forces according to the frequency of the suspension movement. So high frequency movements, typically caused by road irregularities, are dampened less and improving ride comfort while low frequency movements associated with aggressive driving and cornering are dampened more, ensuring optimal handling. Pretty neat, right? Hopefully I can tell the difference on a UK speed bump. Speed bump in three, two. It's not all positive though, because at the moment I benefit from a Nippy 0-60 time of 5.3 seconds in my Model 3 rear wheel drive. And this was increased to 5.8 seconds at the same time the LFP battery was first introduced to the Tesla Model 3 range around two and a half years ago. The 2024 Tesla Model 3 retains this 0-60 speed, but is that 0.5 of a second difference going to be hugely noticeable? Probably not, but it will be more noticeable than the reduction in top speed. My car will never see a track day in its life, so top speed is not useful for me. But if you're part of the 1% that does use that top speed, the new Tesla Model 3 may have a more premium handling experience, but you're going to be sacrificing top speed to a limit of around 125 miles per hour. It's not all bad though. There are a number of technological improvements to the car, such as the heated steering wheel. I just missed the introduction with my Tesla Model 3, and I can't forget the ventilated seats for those warm, sticky back days. It's all sweaty. There is the inclusion of the rear passenger screen as standard to keep the kids happy, as well as a quicker AMD processing unit. And this should now make it capable of making zoom calls, something I can't do at present with my Intel processing unit, and probably won't, but it just illustrates its newfound power difference from three years ago. There are now two microphones for a better audio call experience, rather than having just one at present. New ambient lighting for a more immersive driving experience, but I can see the addition as being rather gimmicky rather than a car selling feature a more consistent phone key experience and dual bandwidth Wi-Fi connectivity. Two connectivity features that some consumers complained about as lack of consistency. I've never personally had an issue, but worth highlighting. Even the USB-C charging ports within the car can charge up to 65 watts, ensuring a MacBook can be charged from within the car. Essentially, these are new features that my old Mother 3 from three years ago simply do not have access to. So to conclude, for an inflation adjusted £8,315 or $10,130 cheaper, the 2024 Tesla Model 3 crams in so much more than it did almost three years ago. It's even increased to its range by over 31% in the process. The funny bit is Tesla won't stop its development there, it will be month to month improvements. So the importance of this video is to highlight that Tesla is consistently innovating, that are listening to the negative feedback, even those with polarizing views. Personally, I'll put my name down to get a test drive at the earliest possible opportunity as I'm so stoked to get hands-on experience with the car. However, even without touching it, it's evident work has been put in to making it a more premium experience for you to love and enjoy. So do you like these upcoming changes? Did the sheer speed of Tesla's innovation shock you? I personally think it's unrivaled in the automotive space for the speed of innovation. Do you agree? If you got this far in the video and you want to let me know you got this far, you can drop me in the comment, Model 3 Plaid Speed, and I'll give you a cheeky thumbs up for the support. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and share it to your friends and family and anyone else that may find it beneficial. You folks have been great and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.